It's Thursday, and we have three. Oh gosh, the sun. That's better. It's Thursday, and we have three minutes. We're back with another episode of Three Minute Thursday, and we've been talking about the home buying process, and I think today we're gonna wrap it up. So last time we talked about the home inspection period and what we do with that and some potential outcomes and situations with that. So today, what are we gonna talk about? So there's a few things that we need to do after we get our contract to the attorney and do our home inspection. You need to reach out to your insurance company. Most of the time people wanna reach out to uh, whoever does their car insurance because you can usually bundle with your home and auto together. If not, I can give you some recommendations. But you wanna get what is called uh, proof of insurability. You wanna make sure to get a homeowner's insurance quote. You don't need to pay your insurance, but your lender is gonna to wanna to see that you can have homeowner's insurance on this property and then at closing, that will be taken care of. You'll get some documents over to your lender and that will get processed for closing. So that is a step that you're gonna to wanna to do. The next step is really you just talking to your lender and uh, having a small fee. You don't really need to do anything, but another big step of the process is the appraisal. So once we make it through the inspection, we know we're not going to uh, kill the deal for whatever reason, your lender's gonna order a home inspection. That, they're not gonna order a home inspection. They're gonna order an appraisal. I said, let's try to do this in one take. So they're gonna order the appraisal. And the point of the appraisal is more for your lender than yourself per se, but the point of the appraisal is to make sure that the home is going to uh, be a value of what we agreed upon with the seller on the contract. So the appraiser is gonna come out and make sure, let's just use 100,000 exit as an example, that that home, uh, based on comparable properties and taking everything into consideration, is worth $100,000 because your lender is not gonna give you one penny over what the appraised value comes in at. So if the appraisal's at 90,000, they're only gonna lend you 90,000. We have to come to an agreement with the seller of how we're gonna do that. We typically will ask them to come down to the appraised value price. Sometimes they say no, that might be the end of the road, or we may work something out where the buyer brings a little bit of money to the table and the seller you know, drops the price a little bit. But we can talk about that more. Majority of the time, we're focusing on the property appraising and that's just a step that goes from there. Um, the lender may ask you for some documents and checks and verifications as we get closer, um, depending on how much longer the COVID stuff happens, there might be extra safeguards and who knows, those might still be in place after COVID ends. I don't know if it ends, I'm not sure, don't really wanna talk about that, but there's gonna be some small checks along the way, so don't be shocked if your lender asks you for a new form or a verification or something like that. Uh, to go from there. And the last bit of fun uh, is going to be our final walkthrough. So as we're getting closer to closing, the two attorneys will schedule closing on the day that we have on the contract, unless something else changed. And we're gonna set the location of the closing and the time of the closing. So once we know that, we're gonna perform our final walkthrough. And that will be either the day, bef the day of, or the evening before closing. We don't wanna go uh, too far out in advance because a lot of things can happen in a few days. So let's just say we're doing the final walkthrough the night before. What we wanna do is go to the property and make sure that it's in the same condition as what we saw it when we wrote our offer, when we did our home inspection, and we wanna make sure that any items the seller said that they would fix, they fixed, any items that they said they would leave, they would leave, and to make sure they didn't take anything. For example, uh, the fridge is staying with your property, we wanna make sure the fridge is still there. So we just wanna make sure that the property's in good shape, and they didn't do any dings or dashes, or I'm not even sure what a dash is, but we wanna make sure that they didn't ding the walls or mess up the drywall or anything like that when they were moving out. So that is the point of our final walkthrough, just to make sure the property is still in the same condition that we saw it. And then we go to closing. So that is, you wanna make sure to go back to uh, the other episodes, but that is the home buying process in a nutshell. 
Like I said, you don't need to know everything. This was just a, a brief overview when we talk on the phone or meet in person. And then as we go through the process, I will make sure that you guys are covered because I really love this and I want you to be comfortable and happy when purchasing your new home. So that's Three Minute Thursday. We'll be back again and we'll have to figure out what we're gonna cover. All right, I will see you later. Sharks out, okay. Seriously, sir. Okay, I'm gonna go though. But it was really nice to see you. So I hope to see you again. Okay. Sir, sir. Okay. Okay, you gotta go. Seriously. Okay, just go. Okay? Seriously though, you gotta go. Okay, but for real though.